Hey, what's going on guys and girls? Alcoholic Phoenix here and welcome to episode number 8, I believe, or 7, 7 or 8, I'm not sure, of my Ark Survival Evolved single player Let's Play. We are getting another RG. Unfortunately, our first Argentavis fell to a Spino, not that one, but a Spino. I tried to get it to attack the Spino, I accidentally touched the water. I got knocked off, got killed by the Spino, and then, unfortunately, the RG was on passive instead of neutral. And it got Ripperoni Pepperoni Pieced. I see a Thorny Dragon over there. Just attacking stuff. I'm kind of looking down here. Because I would have liked to have tamed it in this big open area. I've got some bowlers on me. Which I should put on my hotbar. Um... This guy is a 116, though. Significantly better than what we had. I think our last one was, what, a level 60? Okay. It looks relatively safe. Okay, no, it doesn't. Fuck. Can I take off, please? As I get mangled by this RG. Because of this stupid Dilo di spit. Fuck you, dude. Okay, we need to kind of lead it. Oh, he's flying away. We don't want that. We want him as close to the ground as possible. I wonder if I can hit him with one. I don't know how many of these tranks it's actually going to take. That's the thing. Oh, it doesn't work. Fuck. Okay. I actually was very unsure whether that would work or not. And unfortunately, it doesn't. It would have made it much easier if it did. Gotta keep an eye on Buddy's health. Okay. Hopefully. Oh, shit. Let's do the circle strafing method on the RG. We should be able to take it out. The problem is, is when it goes to fly away. Is my issue. Because they always seem to fly away. And I don't want it flying over to the swamp area. Where if I knock it out, it's going to... That's exactly where it's going to go to. That's exactly where it's trying to go. You son of a bitch. Get knocked out. Get knocked out. Woo! I did it. I did it, Mom. Look at me, Mom. Hey, Mom. Alright, so that guy should be okay there. The only thing that could possibly attack it is this little asshole here. I don't think, unfortunately, I've got any prime meat left on this guy. I tried to tame one before, and the game crashed on me, and it reverted back to a previous time in the save before I'd even gone after it, so... Unfortunately, that was... I was shit out of luck on that, but what I'm going to try and do, I'll try and get this Kano. Okay, we got some prime meat from it. Not enough, but something's better than nothing. Now we just gotta find the damn RG. Should be right over here. There we go. Hopefully, the RG's safe where it is. Uh, let's drop these out of there. Boop, boop, boop. Whoop. Bang, 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 bang. Uh, eight minutes. Hmm. Not a very long spoil time. Should pump some melee damage. We should also drop all this crap.
Okay, and also get his health back up a bit. There we go, beautiful. Now, we Titan. Titan Bowers are probably the easiest source of Prime, and they actually normally give you a fair bit too, if I can find any. I gotta watch out for whatever those new croc slash alligators they added in. Whatever the ones that jump out of the fucking water. They're scary as shit, dude. They're fucking insane. Absolutely mental. Well, I can't see shit. There we go. Any sources of prime? There's a spino there. I assume the Spino is probably pretty tanky. Oh, level 36 ain't bad. I took out a level 48 earlier after it killed my Argy. I just gotta make sure I stay above the water. It makes me very worried. If I can get stuck in its fin, there we go, like that, I can really fuck it up. It's gonna try and run away now. Come on, die. You wanna die? There we go, 12 prime meats. That should be just fine. I'm not exactly sure how much it would take to tame a level 116 Argentavis. Not really sure. I mean, what I might do is I might try and look it up on the Dodo Rex application, of course. A level 116. Let's just see. Um, five. Five, and it's going to take 11 minutes on my taming uh, multiplier. That's not bad. Not bad at all. It slipped into the rock. Um, <clears throat> <clears throat> can I can I access you somewhere? Are you fucking serious? I gotta try not to hit this thing. Come on, rock. Get the fuck out of my way. Thank you. Okay, it hasn't eaten the normal meat yet. That's good. What if we do alphabetical? Oh, that's so much easier. Even though I did accidentally get a stack of normal meat in there, but it will go for the prime first, and I can always take the normal meat out. That should be plenty in there. Honestly? Wow, getting strong. Yeah, there should be plenty in there. For this, oh man, level 116. All right, I'm going to cut to when this guy is tamed up. And I'll see you guys in a moment. All right, guys and girls, this little buddy's about to stand up. Any moment now. There you are. Buddy. No. Buddy. Yes! Hello, buddy. You know... We're actually not going to ride you straight away. We're going to use the Pteranodon to fly back. Because the Pteranodon will be faster than the RG. And it gets really annoying when you get bumped by it every 10 seconds. But I will join you guys and girls back when we get to the house. Here comes Buddy! Hey, how you doing, Buddy? Yeah. Hell yeah, buddy, I agree. Fantastic. 173. We'll have a look at the statisticals. Put the saddle on that guy. Alright. Let's have a look at the statisticals. Just under 2,000 health. 2,700 stamina. 511 weight. 249.2% melee damage and 100% movement speed. 253 melee now. Now, the whole idea... Whoa. That was a little bit weird. 
The whole idea of this episode was originally going to be going and taming something in the taming pen. And what I was trying to do when our other Argentavis died was I was trying to do something off... <laughs> off camera, like leveling up. That's all I was going to do was level this... Well, level that guy up, but then I attacked the Spino, which was apparently the biggest mistake of my life. And di I died, and the Argy died. So, in here, there were some beavers. There's a beaver dam right there. Oh, damn, dude. There's a beaver dam right there. There is a beaver dam. Right there. Ooh, you like those bugs? Bug good bugs. Let's see. Take all. Oh fuck. Oh that's not good. Oh that's that's still not good. I'm still very much weighed down. Well clearly if you go into there, there is a lot of wood. But the cementing paste and the rare flowers and the silica pearls are super fucking handy. That is fantastic. I'm so happy I I actually checked that. Oh, there's a Titan Bar in the water. That's promising. There's a beaver. 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 Leave it to beaver. What level are you, beaver? Ooh, 60. That's that's some good beaver. If I can get it. That's some good beaver if I can get it though. Fuck off Titan Bar. Just get out of here. You're not wanted. How am I going to get this beaver? How am I going to get it? Got it! I 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 got it! Hell yeah! We're gonna go drop this baby in the taming pen! All right, now we need to just get low. Get low to the taming pen. Check where we're going and drop. Dropped it in. Shouldn't be able to fit out. Hopefully my 24 arrows will be enough to knock it out. Wait a minute. We need you. Wait, what's, where's whistle passive? Where is Whistle Passive? No. Whistle Passive. Okay. Alright, here we go. We're going to knock this baby out, I hope. Ooh, that made it mad. Oh, it's peeved. It is peeved. Right in the face hole. Get you in your face hole. Get knocked out. Come on, baby. Oh, it's shaking. Mad? You mad? Come on, buddy. Get knocked out. Get knocked out. Get knocked out. Hurry up. Oh yeah, I think I shut it after it went down, which sucks, but it's down. So, I think, does it take prime meat? I don't remember what they tame with. Alright guys and girls, this boy is all tamed up. That took ages, I had to go and get... A bunch of stuff. I had to go get a bunch of bunch of stuff. Uh, like metal mainly was the big thing to make the saddle for this guy. And it also... Making this guy took most of my cementing paste. 140 cementing paste to make the saddle for this boy. But... He's an aggressive little slucker. 
He's also very good at, car at getting wood. Very, very good. And he's also a smithy, which is so, so nice. Look at this. You little cutie, you. Can you, can you please... Those animations are fantastic, but at the same time, super, super fucking annoying. Well, anyway, guys and girls, I think that is going to end off our episode. If you liked it, remember to leave a like. If you want to see more, hit that sub button. Thank you all for watching, and have a lovely day. All right, peace.